Okay, so um, today I am going to be showing you guys what I call a heavy work box. Um, it's for Xander and for Jenica. <clears throat> I have to do this every other hour, mainly with Jenica, sometimes with Xander. I try to take the breaks every other hour from his school work and do it for between a 5 to a 15 minute break depending on how much I can go with them, um, how much they're willing to do. Um, and uh, so, um, And then for Jenica, I'm, I'm supposed to do it when I get her vest on. Again, that's like every other hour. And then again, it's a 5 to a 15 minute process depending on what I'm doing and for how long I can get her to work with me on. So, some of the stuff that we have in her box... Um, most of it will fit in there, but some of it that I have does not fit in, but it's still considered heavy work, so it, it is a part of the heavy work box, even though it's just a little big to be fitting in the heavy work box. So here is um, one of the items. This is Jenica's, I don't know what you call it, but scooter board. Scooter board. Thank you. Um, she sits on it. And she can push or pull herself by sitting on it, or she can lay on her belly. And she will either just go back and forth doing that, or she will sit on it and grab something like this down here. I will have this dog here. And um, this dog here, and I and then it comes in pieces like that. Um, all of these pieces come off, and I'll have all of the pieces on one side of the room, and then I'll have the base of the dog by me. And she would have to push or pull herself on the board across the room, get a piece, and then come back. And with this dog, it's really nice because I can either make the dog lie down um, with the with the leg sticking out like this, or stand up. And then again, the head as well can either go here or here, and the tail can go on top or on the back. And all of the pieces have a number. I don't know if you can see it on the camera here. On on them to match up to the piece on the body and it also has the color to match up to the piece on the body and the shape to match up to the piece on the body so I can have her match up color shape or number and she can work on all three of those aspects at the same time which are really really nice and it will not fit in any other part of the body um, and they're also very hard to push or pull so it works on that small mani manipulative. So um, she has a, a lot of a different things that she can go back and forth to get but that's what we use the scooter boards for. And with this is Xander's scooter board so he'll do the same thing with his just he only he has his own scooter board to do that with. We also have a shopping cart for Jenica. And Xander sometimes uses too, but mainly for Jenica. And we will put heavier objects in there and just have her push or pull those around. And she absolutely loves using the shopping cart. So that is more of a fun one for her to do. And then I have... This is more of Xander's thing that he likes to do, but for his math... Um, I don't have them down here. No, I don't. But they are connecting counting blocks, and he will use this math sheet to um, count up the counting blocks 
and then it's a wipe off board so he can put in the answers in the answer box over here on this side and then just wipe them off and that works on his manipulatives as well as visually being able to see his uh, what's being taken away or added to his math here um, and then we have these pegboards both square and circular and these are used with rubber bands and they are um, made to put the rubber bands in a design and it doesn't have to be a particular design they are made for them just put on the rubber bands any way that they would like and it's mainly for a, a manip manipulative project so that's what it, that works on um, and then she has her numbers puzzle where it has the number and then the picture of how many it is and then the word to go along with the number and she has to match up the puzzle and it, we, as well as the others, we like to make the puzzles, you know, where she has to go back and forth across the room, where she might have to crab walk and grab a piece and come back. She might have to scooch on her butt. She might have to walk backwards. She might have to go on her tiptoes. She might have to run or hop or jump or um, skip or, uh, let's see... Um, might have to pull something or push something to go there and come back. Might have to go through an obstacle course or go through a tunnel. Um, there's many, many different things that we do to have her go across the room to get the item and then come back and put the item together. Um, and that's why it's called heavy work. Um, and then another one that we do is her alphabet train. And it's just a basic train puzzle with the alphabet pieces so that she learns her alphabet. And then we have a very nice clock game. So she learns to tell time and Xander is working on, on that as well with a really nice clock in it. And it has um, where it has the puzzle pieces. Here we go. It has the puzzle pieces here for you guys, and then it has the wipe off clock, and it has a nice plastic clock, and then it has, um, let's see, what is that? Um, oh, teaching, the teaching, sequencing scheduled times on this one. And then the dice that you can roll so that they have to write out that time that they roll. So it's a really nice, nice game. And she also has... Oops, there goes one of our pieces. Fit of Space. Which is a nice um, learning to fit your shapes into the right hole. has the, um, where you have to do it, the looping of the string through the beads and the buttons. She really enjoys those. And she also has them with the ABC letters. Whoops. There we go. And then she also... has motor, motor activities and these are like, um, I guess they're like a kazoo but they're shaped like the lips and they go and 
and she has to take in a breath and then blow out to make them sound just right and that's very difficult for her so um, that helps her with her motor her oral motor and then she has the bean bags which helps her with her small motor and that heaviness and her ability to throw and then she has her visual for when she needs that cool down time that she made and then she also has this one that she made for when she needs her cool down time and we have an ABC bingo game that we play to learn our ABCs And we have an ABC puzzle, which we're missing our F, but as you can see, when you pull out the, the letter, it has a picture of what that sound would be behind it. And then she has standard puzzles. Again, she just grabs the pieces one at a time and brings them back to you. So. Those are our heavy works that she has. Um, the only other two puzzles that she has is her Sophia one and her Minnie Mouse one, which she is missing a single piece to that one, which we have not found yet. But that is what we do with our stuff when we need, when we have to do our heavy work. Um, and we have found the most helpful, most useful. We also do Play-Doh when we need to do heavy work. Uh, hasn't been as successful. She really loves her Play-Doh, but it hasn't been as successful in heavy work as much as it has been more for playtime and for schoolwork itself so we don't use play-doh as much for the heavy work uh, she does use a swing that is currently outside so that's kind of hard to show you because it's under the snow but well the swing isn't under the snow but that's in the shed but uh, it's hard to get to to show you but I will show you during the summer uh, she does use her sandbox but again that's under the snow but we do go out for it in the sandbox for our heavy work um, and then we also have, I'll show you guys, her egg chair for her heavy work here and our cool down time. Um, that we also use for heavy work. Um, let's see, I think that's it. I think, I think that's all we have for, for heavy work at the current moment. I'm always looking for more um, heavy work stuff and stuff that I can use for her heavy work to kind of change it up for her so it's not always the same mundane everything everyday kind of thing. But that's what we use. I hope that helps other families get some ideas out there and if you guys have ideas for us please we are always looking for ideas and uh, open to ideas and I would love to hear your ideas so if you guys have any ideas for us please comment down below let me know uh, I would love to hear them if you like this video please leave a that thumbs up button there and comment and please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get my next video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!